uh, hello everyone uh, my name is uh, rupesh and uh, uh, today we'll discuss uh, uh, about uh, uh, exchanging data between uh, relational databases and uh, HDFS. So uh, this is the uh, agenda for today's presentation. Uh, we'll discuss about the, the difference between HDFS and uh, RDBMS uh, database uh, file system. Um, then why the why there is a requirement uh, to exchange uh, the data between HDFS and RDBMS then uh, what is uh, scoop uh, then the installation uh, procedure of a uh, scoop on the CentOS OS uh, 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 VMware system uh, then the import of uh, uh, all the uh, MySQL RDBMS database tables uh, to the HDFS uh, file system using scoop then import of a single table uh, using scoop uh, import of a table in Hive uh, using scoop and export of the uh, table taken in the previous uh, previous uh, step uh, from the HDFS file system back to the uh, RDBMS uh, system. So uh, um, the difference between Hadoop and RDBMS. Uh, uh, RDBMS and Hadoop are uh, different concepts of storing, uh, processing and retrieving the information. Uh, DBMS and uh, RDBMS uh, are in the literature for a long time whereas uh, Hadoop is a new concept uh, compar comparatively. So as the storage capacities and uh, customer data size are increased enormously, um, processing this information uh, within a reasonable amount of time becomes crucial, uh, especially when it comes to data warehousing applications then in various analytical processing. Uh, and in uh, business intelligence reporting, it becomes very challenging to perform uh, complex reporting uh, within a reasonable amount of time as the size of the uh, data grows exponentially as well as uh, growing demand of the customers for, for complex uh, analysis and uh, uh, So what is Hadoop? Uh, Hadoop is an open uh, source Apache project. Uh, the Hadoop framework was uh, developed based on uh, the Google's uh, MapReduce uh, algorithm. Uh, it is totally written in Java. Yeah. Uh, it is uh, scalable and therefore can support high performance uh, demanding applications. Storing very large amount of data uh, on the file system of multiple computers are possible uh, in the Hadoop, Hadoop framework. Uh, it is configured to enable scalability from single node or thousands, uh, thousands of nodes or independent systems in such a way that the individual nodes use uh, local computer storage. Uh, error handling is uh, uh, performed in the application layer level uh, when a node is failed and therefore dynamic addition of nodes that is processing power uh, in an as needed basis by ensuring the uh, high availability. Uh, Hadoop is uh, extremely popular in uh, big data companies uh, like Facebook, uh, uh, then IBM, uh, Yahoo uh, and Amazon. Uh, these are some of the companies uh, which use uh, Hadoop. And there are several uh, hundreds of other companies uh, which which have started using uh, Hadoop uh, in order to process uh, uh, the big data. What is uh, RDBMS? Uh, uh, RDBMS is a relational database uh, management system. The uh, database management system uh, known as DBMS uh, stores data in the form of tables which uh, comprises of uh, rows and columns. Uh, the structured query language uh, SQL uh, will be used to extract necessary data stored in these in these tables. Uh, the RDBMS, uh, which stores the relationships between these tables in different forms, such as one column entries of a table, will serve as a reference uh, for another table. Um, so RDBMS is uh, uh, appropriate for real-time OLTP processing. Uh, the now when to use uh, uh, RDBMS and when to use uh, Hadoop. Uh, RDBMS is good when you have uh, a, uh, a structured uh, structured data. Uh, if you have uh, gigabytes of structured data, uh, uh, which read and write often, and uh, uh, and which has uh, high integrity, whereas uh, Hadoop is uh, good when you have uh, petabytes of semi-structured data or unstructured data, uh, which often read and write once in a while, required to process in a batch mode with a linear scale and low. So now, why there is a requirement to exchange data between HDFS and RDBMS? Uh, uh, Hadoop and RDBMS inter interoperability is uh, very essential uh, for any enterprise uh, to migrate to Hadoop. 
uh, the uh, companies, individuals and teams considering uh, migration to Hadoop uh, need to port that data to Hadoop so that MapReduce jobs can use it. Uh, each RDBMS offers uh, distinct tutoring opportunities. So the, so the various uh, tool extensions offer a great deal of value. Uh, what is uh, Scoop? Uh, Scoop is a tool that facilitates uh, a bi-directional exchange of data between HDFS and uh, relational databases. Uh, with Scoop, it's possible to import the contents of a table uh, or the results uh, of a SQL query or even an entire uh, database uh, to the to files in HDFS uh, so, they, so they may be used in MapReduce jobs. The inverse operation of uh, exporting data residing in HDFS to tables in an RDBMS uh, is also fully supported for files with a known schema. Uh, Scoop does this uh, by uh, running a MapReduce uh, job. Uh, since uh, scoop jobs run as MapReduce jobs, uh, they can be controlled in all the same way as any other MapReduce job. Uh, this includes uh, uh, managing HDFS uh, permissions on uh, files and directories uh, to control access uh, to data. Uh, the database credentials uh, must be supplied with each invocation of the scoop uh, command line tool. Uh, now, these are the following features uh, of a scoop. Uh, the data import to HDFS uh, single as well as tables from a database and merging results uh, from subsequent imports uh, running uh, scoop a meta, meta store listing tables and databases uh, working with uh, saved uh, jobs uh, compatible with almost any uh, JDBC enabled database uh, auto load with uh, uh, auto load into hive edge based support uh, and uh, and various other things like in uh, uh, we can you can use a where clause uh, uh, in order to fetch only a particular set of rows uh, and provides uh, optimization to specific. This is how uh, you can connect uh, uh, to a database server using uh, scoop. This uh, this scoop command has to be run on the uh, command line. Uh, it requires a, a JDBC uh, URL syntax. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm using a MySQL server. So uh, this is the uh, corresponding syntax for it. Uh, you can also connect uh, uh, to the uh, MySQL server using a parameter file. The parameter file uh, has to have uh, all the connections like in, uh, like in the JDBC uh, URL, the username uh, and the password. This is the uh, free from uh, query imports. Uh, this is uh, uh, one of the way in which you can uh, specify uh, the particular query. Uh, uh, you can you can specify the join conditions, uh, and then uh, it can fetch you the result based on the uh, uh, based on the restriction logic in the where clause. Uh, you can also specify uh, the target at which uh, 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 a target uh, directory at which uh, you you want the uh, uh, the HDFS uh, file uh, uh, to be uh, to be put. You can also specify uh, the number of mappers. Uh, here in this this case, the number of mappers is equal to two. Uh, there are some restrictions uh, uh, on which uh, you cannot use this uh, particular uh, set of queries. Like in, uh, you cannot use an OR clause uh, or use of a complex query uh, that has soft queries or joins, uh, leading to uh, un uh, leading to ambiguous projections can lead to uh, unexpected results. So avoid avoid using that. Uh, the installation procedure of uh, Scoop uh, in my machine, uh, uh, the uh, I have installed uh, the Hadoop uh, uh, Cloudera. Uh, uh, now, uh, the installation uh, of HBase is required uh, for uh, proper working of uh, uh, Hadoop's Scoop. Uh, this is the uh, command for uh, installing Scoop uh, on your uh, CentOS system. Um, so this is the way how S Scoop is installed. Uh, it uh, downloads the uh, uh, the the files uh, from Cloudera and installs it uh, on the CentOS system. Then uh, the installation of the MySQL uh, server. This is a command uh, for uh, installing MySQL on your local machine. This is just the uh, verification part. Then to start MySQL, then securing the installation. This is how uh, uh, you will uh, connect uh, to the database. And this is the command which connects to the database. Uh, let us try connecting the database. Uh, so 
uh, this is a command uh, mysql you have to provide mysql uh, uh, parameter uh, then uh, this is the host name since i'm using the local host my server is installed on local host i'm using local host uh, minus u is the username this is my username and this is the password once i enter um, you enter the password we will try to connect to database let's see the list of tables uh, that I have in this database so tables this is a list of tables I have okay if I want to see the count of uh, uh, employees and the offices uh, table so uh, I have uh, 23 rows in employees table this is these are the two tables that I will be using and uh, um, these are I have seven rows in uh, the offices table uh, now we will import uh, uh, all of my uh, SQL tables uh, which are present in my RDBMS uh, uh, into the HDFS uh, file system using scoop so this is a command uh, this is a scoop command uh, then we have to import all the tables uh, this is the uh, uh, line that we need to add uh, this is the connection string to the uh, 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 to the database the username uh, then then the password and this is the uh, destination HDFS uh, file file system uh, uh, directory so uh, these are the uh, uh, list of uh, tables uh, from which we uh, need to do and uh, 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 which we which we which will copy uh, all, all these tables uh, from uh, RDBMS into uh, HDFS Now this is the command that I am running. Now the uh, map reduce job has started. So all those uh, nine tables uh, will be copied to uh, HDFS uh, file system. This job will almost uh, take a minute or so. Now, uh, let us list all the uh, tables that are copied uh, in HDFS. So uh, this is the command. These are all the uh, nine tables that are copied from RDBMS to HDFS. Now let us see the uh, employees table. So this is the uh, 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 file that is uh, generated. Uh, uh, when when the employees table is uh, copied now uh, let us list the last uh, few lines of the uh, employees table that is copied that is copied in hdfs uh, so this is the command so this is the uh, last uh, 10 to 15 lines uh, from the employees table now uh, let us do a single import, uh, import of a single table uh, using a uh, scoop. Uh, the table here is uh, right now is uh, uh, offices. We have to specify a table argument over here, and this is the uh, destination uh, directory. As this is the HDFS uh, destination directory where where that table will be copied. Um, this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, data in that particular table. Uh, this can be viewed in MySQL. Uh, now let us run the uh, command so this is a command now the uh, file will be generated in uh, this particular uh, directory
as we can see that seven uh, records are copied now this is to uh, check the file so uh, the file is generated with the part and so, 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 so. let us check the uh, few rows to use a tail minus f So this is the uh, uh, last. So this is uh, these are the total seven rows in that particular table. Sorry, in that particular HDFS uh, file. Now uh, let us do an import uh, of a table employees uh, in uh, in Hive uh, from uh, from RDBMS. So we have to uh, specify the argument a table then the employees and this is the hive import uh, argument that you need, you need to provide if uh, if there is a, a, a no table called employees in the hive uh, uh, in the hive uh, uh, sgfs system um, uh, then uh, then the scoop uh, takes care of populating the hive uh, uh, meta store uh, the metadata is copied as uh, similar to that of that uh, which exists in rdbms so you do not have to worry about it if it exists then you have to, you can uh, overwrite uh, that particular uh, uh, table by using the override command uh, for hive uh, you need to uh, you need to have hive on your machine so this is the uh, command for installing uh, the hive uh, this is the packages uh, that gets uh, 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 installed uh, after that you can verify uh, by uh, using which hive uh, now the table uh, uh, employees has uh, 23 rows uh, now this uh, we have to copy in uh, in in hive uh, <coughs> Uh, so this is the command uh, let's run it so the map reducer job has uh, started it takes some time to uh, make the file so it has completed so it has copied the 23 rows into HDFS into into hive now let us check by logging into hive So this is the uh, hive uh, command prompt let us describe employees so this is the metadata for hive now let us check the count uh, in the employees table uh, you can see that the count is uh, 23 so we are good now uh, let us do the export um, uh, of the uh, of the step that is in step 7 uh, we had uh, done the import uh, and created the HDFS file for the uh, employees table now do the uh, we can we will now do, uh, do the export of that HDFS file back to the RDBMS system and uh, we will have to create an employees uh, employees one uh, table uh, by using a script in our DBMS uh, this is the uh, this is the um, uh, file that is created in step 7 let us see that file um, so Hadoop FS minus 10 tail minus FF this is the um, output of the uh, step 7 now um, let us create um, the employees one table in um, mysql server um, now let us uh, let us copy the command which is used to export uh, the output file back to rdbms
we just copy the wrong one which will be employees one let us do it again because this is the employees one table that we have created So we have exported 23 rows into uh, into the uh, employees one table. Uh, let us check in MySQL. So let's start from employees one. So this is the output uh, of the employees one table. These are the um, these are the set of references uh, that I used to uh, make this video. Hope the hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.